Hello, my name is Katie McIntyre and I'm your host for the podcast, The Loving Cup, Elevate Your Gratitude. We're live today from the FingerLakesOne.com studios in Seneca Falls. It's Friday, February 1st, 2019. Welcome. So we have two friends and coworkers with us today in the studio, and I wanted to start us off with a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson, um, which I thought was appropriate for the two of the two of my guests. So, I awoke this morning with devout thanksgiving for my friends, the old and the new. And so today we have Mackenzie Green and Rick Newman in the studio. So welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. So let's have you each introduce the other. Uh, so who wants to go first? I guess I will go first. So this is uh, Rick Newman. Um, he has been with the Seneca County Chamber for four years now. And actually, um, we've known each other. We were talking the other day for mm -hmm. almost 10 years. Uh, so it's kind of um, awesome. We'll probably get into that later of how we kind of connected and reconnected and all that. So Rick Newman from the Chamber. Right. <laughs> all right. Thank you. And uh, this is my colleague, Mackenzie Green. Uh, again, you've been with the Chamber for four years as well, a couple months before I started. And uh, yeah, you know, we met close to 10 years ago back at Cuca College. And uh, over the years, we've... Uh, uh, got to know each other pretty well, so this is exciting. Thanks for having us. Thanks for thanks for being here. That's great. I didn't realize that you had the connection of Cuca College, so yeah, Cuca Lake is one of my favorite places on the planet. Right. Mine Same too. here. <laughs> That's good. So, would you each um, share with us something that you're most grateful for in the past year? Sure. Well, I'll go first, I guess. Okay. Um, so, over the the past year. Um, my uh, family and also friends, we've lost a, a lot of um, close people uh, in our lives. So um, very grateful for the, the times that we have shared uh, with them. And also just, you know, reminding each other how to appreciate every day and to value the time that you have with people who are here because uh, you never really know what, what tomorrow brings. So um, really grateful for, for all of that and to have such a great family and, and friend group and also a boyfriend. So. Um, very thankful for all those people. Yeah, and I think I share a lot of the same things that Mackenzie's grateful for. You know, it, it might be a little cliche, but I'm grateful to wake up every day, you know, healthy and have healthy friends and family, um, a, a loving wife and support system at home, and um, being able to create memories with those who have passed on in the past year, being able to still remember those. You know, it's, it's you're you're grateful to be able to have those and keep those with you, um, you know, as you progress, you know, further in your life. So I think we share a little bit of the mm -hmm. same gratitude with that. Beautiful. Thank you. How about for your whole life? So I think I'm grateful <laughs> for it, it. You know, it's kind of the same thing in the past year, but just on a larger scale. I'm grateful to have the loving family and friends that, uh, you know, I've, I've uh, you know, was born with and have made over my, you know, 27 years. Um, <clears throat> just to be able to have that support system, you know, I think it, it's it's great to be able to lean on someone if you if you need help or, um, you know, you might feel lost, you know, here and there. Um, but I, you know, just being able to reach out to someone and, and have someone there for you, you know, whenever you may need them, um, it, I'm, I'm certainly grateful for that. Absolutely. Sure. And did you grow up here? Um, I'm actually a transplant, so I'm originally from <laughs> Cortland, New York. Okay. Um, so four years when I started uh, back at the chamber, I now call this my new home. Um, Your so chosen home. Okay. My chosen home. There you go. Absolutely. Yep. And, uh, and I love it. So Awesome. So uh, for me, I would say uh, two things, I guess, that for I'm grateful for in my, my whole life. One would be my parents. Um, they definitely have taught me a lot of um, things throughout my life and really have been a great support system and really awesome to, to lean on and to have there. So I wouldn't be where I am and who I am without them, definitely. Um, and also very grateful for uh, my brother. Uh, he is uh, 20 almost 23 I can't believe it um, and he was uh, born with Down syndrome and also had um, leukemia when he was two years old so looking at the challenges that he's faced and over overcome just it just it blows my mind and I'm so thankful to have him here and be healthy and, and Rem remind me of his name Ben Ben yes yep yep no, and it's, it sounds like a really resilient person. Yes, he is. And he treats every day like, you know, he just lives his life. And I, I wish that more people, including myself, I, I look to him and say, you know, gosh, he's always so happy and smiling. Like nothing ever gets to him. And he's just a, a great human being. So very thankful for, for him. I'm going to take that lesson from Ben, I yes. think. <laughs> How about uh, what you're most grateful for in the other? You can go first. Uh, I'll go first? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I... 
I'm certainly grateful for just, you know, having the lasting relationship that Mackenzie and I have had, um, one initial friendship and also now being coworkers. You know, we, we, it's not like we've been through a lot and I don't mean like tremendous ups and downs or anything of that sort, but we've, we've seen each other grow through many different moments in our life from starting school and, um, going through there, you know, we had a lot of classes together when we were both in the business major and, um, being able to see each other grow from the beginning throughout. And then now in our professional careers, um, I think is really cool because not a lot of people can say that you know they're working with someone that they went to school with and graduated with and have continued that lasting relationship and you know a lot of times when you mix friends and family in the workplace it not always works out you know so I think we know a little bit uh, a lot about each other and it kind of allows us to you know we we know what may um, get on each other's nerves so we stay away from that so I think that really helps the whole work environment and everything and um, yeah just knowing a lot about each other's background and everything it's just really uh, really cool to see over the close to 10 years that we've known each other through through everything so it's just it's been it's been really fun yeah I agree with that and also you know Rick is like a, a sound box for me too like if I have ideas or whether it's work related or even life related I always come to Rick and say hey I need your you know male opinion <laughs> or hey what do you, you know what do you think about this idea whether it's work related or not I just and he always is very honest with me and I, I appreciate that and um, just really you know if I am stuck on the side of the road on my way to work or whatever he's the first one to call and He's just been a great friend and a great support system. So appreciate See. appreciate everything. That's awesome. <laughs> and you guys have been, I mean, you've been doing some really fun, great projects, like award-winning stuff and... Yeah. Some innovative stuff, yes. especially you know Mackenzie with a lot of her new projects that she's doing. And again, you know, it's it's being able to you know uh, bounce ideas and our voices off of each other. And um, you know, we're in this kind of whole innovative um, environment now when it comes to work. And you know, we're we're millennials, so yeah. we're you know we're the upcoming generation. And I think a lot of the things that we see or we've experienced are really helping us through through our you know uh, young professional mm-hmm. careers. And I think it's it's starting to show, as you alluded to. So that's awesome. Congrats. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. So what about um, your chosen home? Um, so this region and this community, can you talk to me about things that you're grateful for? Certainly. You, I'll, I'll, you I'll go and mention the chosen home. So I think uh, moving up here, I only knew a handful of people when I moved up here. My now wife is originally from Seneca Falls, and we also met at Cuca. Um, so, you know, I had I had something bringing me to the area. And, you know, after high school back in uh, Homer and Cortland area, um, when I moved up here, I started losing some of those friendships or you didn't really keep in touch with a lot of the people that you know you kind of grew up with with your life and you start to find your your forever friends and your forever family right so I think the welcoming support not only from you know the friends that I've met here but also just community leaders and other community members has just been extremely warm and inviting um, so I think that's really another big reason why this is my chosen home you know if someone asks um, you know where I'm from Seneca Falls. You know, I'll never forget my roots. You know, don't get me wrong on that. But um, with with coming in here with a blank slate, uh, a lot of people welcoming into the community, and you know the the Monday night golf leagues and everything. You know, you're able to meet a lot more people and just create those those uh, lasting memories. And you know, some people uh, along the way, you know, they they unfortunately pass, but you know, you, you keep moving on uh, for them too. So I forgot that you were a golfer. <laughs> That is a great way to we use that term lightly. <laughs> it's a great way to uh, to meet people, though. Certainly. And how about for you, Mackenzie? Uh, there's a lot of passion here in this community, and people certainly, you know, strive to to do the best that they can, either whether it's for mm-hmm. their business or themselves. And just that the drive, and again, that the passion that people have is really, really great. And I'm very grateful for that. Um, traveling with my family, we do a lot of traveling and going places and seeing different communities in different states and going into an unknown community and just seeing, wow, you know, where we live is really awesome because you feel that sense of community and that pride and that ownership. And when you go into some larger communities, for example, it seems to get lost. So really just I'm grateful that this community, Seneca County and the region, I mean all of, as a whole, mm-hmm. are very welcoming and always strive to to do what they can so and did you grow up here I grew up in a small little town called Rushville 
Um, it's kind I, of I don't know where it is. <laughs> just over yonder west. Yeah, yeah. It's um, between you know, Canandaigua, Middlesex, Potter, uh, Naples. Um, Very much Finger Lakes. It's a, yeah, it's a it's a small <laughs> drive-by farm farm town. So not okay. too far from here, but okay. that's where I grew up. So you you both work to help promote the region mm-hmm. um, and work in tourism. Can you share something from like the flora and fauna, like your favorite thing about this area? That's a loaded question. <laughs> I guess maybe I'll start. Yeah. Um, I would just say the natural beauty that we have here. Um, I am not a fan of winter, and we tend to go to Florida in, in the winter months just for a few weeks. And, you know, it's great to see the sun and, and go there, but after a while, it, it gets kind of old. And here, I mean, you have the four seasons. Unfor- you know, unfortunately, we're in one of the worst winters right now with it being so cold. But just you have those seasons and you have the natural beauty and the lakes and the wineries and the breweries and the history and just all of that. Like, you can do something different pretty much every day. So it's just, it's just I can't believe how much the region has exploded since, you know, I've been... Uh, kind of paying attention so it's just it's incredible yeah and I'd have to agree with what Mackenzie said and also you know being able to get up and say you enjoy going to work every day right you meet a lot of awesome great business owners and other people within the community and that kind of helps shapes the environment that you're in in involved in day after day you know every day when you go to work so being able to share the same passion that a lot of these individuals have with their own ventures that make this area what it is now makes our jobs a lot easier mm-hmm. um, and probably you know, really fun it, it does it yeah. is yeah you learn I mean, a lot <laughs> it's, it's literally something new every day yeah. you know it's yeah. not the same thing over and over and um it you know keeps us on our toes mm-hmm. um you know it's um you're ready for whatever comes at you yeah. um but I, I certainly think not only just a natural beauty and the great assets that we have here to promote it's the people who make those assets a reality and again allows us to do our job to the best possible extent that that we can i agree awesome so how about um in your career is there something that you're most grateful for an opportunity you've had or or a mentor or an experience um, I'd, I'd say one of my mentors, and, and I think um, it, it was before my career, but it's also it's it's given me a, a, a lot of insight to my career now. And Mackenzie might share this one with me. Um, one of our old professors, David Rahm, uh, was was a, a, a great gentleman, and um, he had he had this saying. It was the six P's: that prior planning prevents piss poor performance. And that is, I know we, <laughs> we say it all say the time that, yeah. in the office, you know, when things come about yeah. and just being able to have that one message that has stuck with us again, you know, going through different parts of our, our lifetime together, you know, that's one thing that we kind of hold on together and use towards our, our work, you yeah. know, as, as coworkers, but also being able to help promote this community that we're in. Um, and then meeting other individuals, as I mentioned, you know, just before that, you know, help play into that whole yeah. being able to enjoy going to work every day. You know, it's, it's, it's just, it's, you, you you take for granted sometimes when when you when you you know you you're not you you don't think that what you have is special until you really take a step back and look yeah. at it. So it's true. Now, yes, he was a, a great uh, you know person in role model, but mine is a little bit different. Um, I was given the opportunity right out of college to work with the New York Wine and Grape Foundation. Um, actually, uh, side story: I have a um, degree in winemaking. A lot of people uh, don't know that, but I didn't uh, know that. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> yeah, so I was involved in that when I first uh, got out of college, and he was a, a Jim Treesice, who used to be the um, director there, was a really great resource and tool for me, and kind of helped me dive right into the wine industry after college and into marketing so he had some money left over and was like hey you know why don't don't you come work for me for a little while I'll show you the ropes teach you some things and you'll never know what could happen after that so without him I think you know giving me that little extra help and support and push right because fresh out of college or like you know fish out of water kind of like you know what what direction should we go in next and he was just really great and I've met a lot of people because of him through different countries states regions it's just it's incredible so without him I don't think I'd be where I am today and my parents of course but it's awesome yeah no and it's beautiful when you know someone sees something in you that you haven't seen in yourself or that you don't know Mm -hmm. um is a possibility that's awesome yeah so do you make wine now 
Once in a while. Okay. I have I still have my stuff from school, but it's it's in the closet and I haven't uh, I was gonna say I remember some homemade bags in college years yeah. ago. But so. yeah, no, I haven't. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> I have a cousin that makes wine, but he's in Rhode Island. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how about a favorite memory of something that you've done together? Something just... <laughs> you can go for I mentioned some something earlier. I was like, you, I hope you're not feeling nervous about this. Cause we have a lot of <laughs> That a you lot want of memories, to share with a lot so, of people. Um, I think one that is perfectly fine for this podcast is that Mackenzie and I had a... I don't want to say once in a lifetime chance because I hope it's not once in a lifetime, but we Darn were you. able to sit courtside at a Syracuse game a couple of years ago when they played Notre Dame. And it was I just that was fun. unbelievable. Oh Kenzie will probably share her experience um, on that. But yeah, it was it was really cool. You know, it was one of those spur of the moment things. It was hours before the game. We got the call. We've got you know we've got these tickets. Do you want to you know come on down and or come on out and, and watch the game? And we weren't going to at first. We were yeah. like, well, I don't know. You know, it's it's, a it's cold, Thursday snowy. Night. Yeah. It was only you know a couple days ago. It popped up on my memories That's that funny. it you know it was yeah. you know three years ago. But it's. I'll never forget it. That's so. awesome. Did they win? They did. They did. Okay, that's yeah. even better. Yes, and I got to hold the game winning or the game ball too. It was, it was pretty cool. Yeah. The, the ref threw it over, and I got to touch it. And oh, awesome! Got my fish were taken. As we're rocking our best Jim Beheim glasses, <laughs> it was Jim Beheim night. So yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Oh gosh, there's just there's so many things that we've done um, together. Um, you kind of stole mine, but I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Days on the chapel lawn. Yeah, I mean at Cuca, we there's several things. I mean the winemaking class where mm-hmm. we we created the label together, and that was what a class label I think for the whole entire class, yeah, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, for, yep. So that was uh, memorable. Um, I remember the one year uh, we all jumped into Cuca Lake when it was freezing in the in the winter time. I have trouble getting in in the summer. So I know. <laughs> you're brave. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's just I don't know. There's so many, but I think that that would pretty much trump everything. So thanks a lot for, I'm for sorry. stealing hey, that. You told but, me to go first. Yeah. And also, I mean, work. I mean, we all of our events, as as you've mm-hmm. been to some throughout the years, um, pretty much from when we started, they just continued to grow and to see right. the success that you know. Us and also Pat and uh, Deb at our office and Jeff too have just put into you know time and everything. Just watching the chamber just to grow over Certainly. the past couple of years has yeah. been awesome too. And I mean, what better to share it with a you know a friend that you went to school with and work together and keep adding it to the list. That's good because yeah. so, probably when you met you. If someone had said, what are you going to be doing in no. 10 years? Yeah. And you probably wouldn't have said, we're going to be working together. <laughs> no, mm-hmm. that's for sure. No, yeah. yeah. I, I couldn't even say that I'd be working in this exact industry, yeah. you know, to be telling you the truth. You never know when you're that young, unless you really do know. But, it, you know, sometimes the, an opportunity springs upon you, like Mackenzie said, with the Wine and Grape Foundation, and they just continue to roll from there. It's yeah. awesome. So. Yeah. That's good. So I was curious if either of you have a gratitude practice, and there's no pressure. You don't need to have one. I'm just curious. I, I'll go. I guess you have one. <clears throat> so, with you know all the life experiences that that I've been through, and with my brother and family members who have been ill, um, I guess what I always try to to say during you know, a difficult time or a downtime is there's always something to be grateful for, no matter what the situation is. I mean, if, you know, you, you broke down, for example, on the side of the road and, you know, you could be thankful for it that that didn't happen on a major major highway or it wasn't a snowstorm or just something, you know, silly, like maybe something broke or just you always, there's always a, a positive to look at and there, or it's always something to be, to be thankful for. You know, I've known several of my friends who have gotten into accidents and who can no longer, you know, walk or don't have the ability to talk anymore and it's just, you know, you... You take that for granted mm-hmm. every day that you can talk and you can walk and you can put on your own shoes and you can eat your own food by yourself and, mm-hmm. and all that. So that that would be mine, I guess. Certainly. Yeah, and I would agree. And it's something else that I would uh, mention, too, for me is I just want to, you know, <clears throat> being able to treat people how you want to be treated. Mm-hmm. You know, just being able to um, treat people with respect and you know you never know what someone's going through yeah. so there's no need so to belittle or to um you know get 
uh, get angry over something that could be just so small. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you do get angry, but you let calmer heads prevail and just sit back and you, you know, you look at the situation that's at hand and yeah, you could, it mm-hmm. could be a lot worse. Yeah. You know, it could definitely be a lot worse. Never take anything for granted and, uh, and just try to spread, you know, spread kindness to other mm-hmm. people. You know, I, I, I think there's always a little bit more kindness that can always be spread more than, than what there is right now. But, um, just, yeah, just just walking around with a smile on your face, you know. Just like Ben does. I mean, he's yeah, always, man. you know, got a smile and always says hello to people because, like Rick said, you never know what someone's going mm-hmm. through internally that, that may change their, their whole day. So. Mm-hmm. It's true, so true. Yeah, I like to say kindness is always in fashion. like it. That's a good one, yeah. Uh, but it's true. So um, let's hope everyone watching takes advice from Ben and from Rick and does something to spread a little more kindness in the world because yes. we can definitely... Definitely use it. So before we wrap up, I wanted to see if there was anything else that you wanted to share about about gratitude. Um, Any shout outs you need to give? Well, I guess um, I will shout out the boss. (laughs) Um, I'm very grateful for for him um, seeking me out to to come work at such a a great and growing organization. before my time in Seneca County, I was in Geneva at the Geneva Chamber briefly, um, and he was able to witness, you know, some of my work and, and background there. Um, so for him to to call me up and you know say, "Hey, I've seen your work. Would you like to come in for an interview?" was just mind blowing, and I every day just am grateful for that opportunity and for him to to think of me and for us as an organization and group uh, mm-hmm. to just continue to to keep growing and. It's just it's it's crazy. Yeah, and you know Mackenzie was actually my my lead on this <laughs> position right now. All well, years when I was back at Creek Peak Mountain Resort in Hope Lake Lodge, um, you know mentioned that there was an opening, and you know might as well you know might as well try. Yeah. And uh, you know here we are four years later. And I'd also have to agree with you know um, being grateful for Jeff giving us the opportunity to be able to do the work that we do today. Yeah. Um, and, and also the support system behind, you know, both of us, you know, my wife, Megan, um, my family back home in Cortland, my new family here in Seneca Falls and, and all my friends in my chosen home. So um, just a little bit of everything. That's awesome. So. And also, um, I'll just conclude with this to our partners and our, our chamber members. Because without them, we wouldn't be able to even have a job or be where we are. So mm-hmm. we appreciate their continued support and involvement and, um, you know, just... We're excited to see what the future holds for us as an organization and for our members because there's a lot of exciting things in the works. So. That's awesome. Absolutely. So I'm not sure if there are any people watching who don't know about the Seneca County Chamber, but can you just give a quick little intro of what you do? And mm-hmm. Sure. So I am the membership development manager at the, the chamber, so I deal with all of our chamber members and work with them as far as uh, seeing what their needs are and how we can better help promote, market, advocate for businesses because we're really, really uh, strong in that front. But just basically generally trying to see how we can help our business climate in the region grow, not just specifically (coughs) Seneca County. Um, And also plan all the the fun events that Mm -hmm. that we do, the annual dinner, barbecue, and golf tournament. So, and Rick has another, he's on another front. The the other section (laughs) uh, of the the Chamber of Commerce is also the tourism promotion agency for Seneca County. Every county has one in New York State. Uh, So I'm the destination marketing manager, which is just a long term for tourism Mm -hmm. director, tourism promotion director. Um, But it's it's a name well-fitting because this is a destination, you know, so we're out there promoting the tourism. Uh, properties and assets that we have here in Seneca County and and work with our uh, regional partners in the Finger Lakes region um, to help you know promote the entire region as a you know world-class destination that people can come to and enjoy relax you know uh, stay stay a while um, and relocate yeah Yeah. so I mean a little bit of everything and that's why it's cool because both of our jobs kind of intertwine with each other well they don't kind of they definitely do they definitely intertwine with each other and that's why a lot of our ideas you know kind of collaborating really helps everyone as a whole um, in the community certainly I see I think have seen uh, benefit and value over the past four years since we've we've been on ship so yeah yeah. we're looking forward to another year exactly that's right well uh, that's awesome. So keep up the great work. Thank you. And uh, I'm grateful that you came in and spent some time in the studio with, yes. with me and with our guests. So um, that does bring us to the end of our time together today. And we'll be back 
uh, later this month with more guests. So until then, be well, be kind, and share your gratitude. Have a great day. <laughs>